three, two, one. Hey everybody, how is it going? It's the Crystal Flaffy, and welcome to episode one of our brand new Let's Play that we're going to be doing on the channel here, and this is one that I'm so excited for, because as you guys know, we did do Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team a, w a little while ago, and I had a lot of fun with that one, because the stories of the Mystery Dungeon games are just absolutely amazing, and the explorers of uh, darkness, time, sky. The the story of this the this like trilogy, these three this trio of games had is absolutely amazing. The story of the oh my god! I, it takes the concept of the first mystery dungeon games and like amps it up to a billion, and it's so fucking cool. And I'm. I'm actually getting more and more hyped the more I talk about it, but god damn man, I'm just so happy to be doing this. Now I am playing this on Desmume, so there may be times where the game lags a little bit, and that's because I'm on a, I'm on my lap, I'm on a laptop right now, not some PCU that's got some good hardware and whatnot, I'm just on a regular laptop. Um. So yeah, so it may lag sometimes, but we'll just we'll just power through. We'll just power through it. Oh, did not mean to do that. I forgot the bottom is a touch screen on the. Oh my god, we can use the mouse, dude. Okay, I'm just so hyped. I'm actually so hyped right now, but I don't think I want. I don't think there's any introductory stuff that I need to say besides. I hope you guys are as hyped up for this as I am because I'm literally losing my shit right now. Just like watching that intro of the game just brought back all these memories of when I played this game when I was a kid. Or not when I was a kid, it came out like 10 years ago or something, right? Or 10... I think it was less than 10 years ago that this came out. A little less maybe. I don't know. I don't remember. But when I was younger, I played this game... And unfor like I had it on my DS, but um, somehow, I don't know how, but I lost it. Like I had time, no, I had Darkness, and I played that one multiple times. And then I eventually got Sky, and I played through that one like once or twice. But then I ended up losing it somehow, and I'm very sad. And I'm going to work on getting a new one eventually. But for now, we're going to be doing this on an emulator. And yeah, we're going to jump in. New game. The best part about these Mystery Dungeon series is that you really get to like, like as a, not even just as someone playing through it, like as someone that's let's playing this for like other people where we're talking through it and like doing voiceovers and stuff, this games like Mystery Dungeon 
well, the Mystery Dungeon games in the Pokemon world are amazing because there's so many different characters, so many different voices you can do. It's insane. It's insane. Um, I don't know who the original voice is that's supposed to be helping us in the beginning. I think it is... Spoiler alert. I think right now we're talking with that Gardevoir. I think that's what's going on right now. So we're going to go into this as with that in mind. Remember, I haven't played this in a really long time, so I don't have a lot of memory about what the story is exactly about. I remember things here and there, but I don't remember details. So this is Gardevoir, okay. Assumably. Welcome. This is the portal that leads to the world inhabited only by Pokemon. Beyond this gateway, many new adventures and fresh experiences await your arrival. Before you depart for your adventure, you must answer some questions. Be truthful when you answer them. Now, are you ready? Then, let the questions begin. Alright. Now, I do have a notepad, uh, not a notepad, a, the guide open for, like, what questions give you what points into what nature, what not. Now, I'm not going to be aiming at one specific Pokemon, because I feel like that's, like, cheating. Like, we want to... We want to, like, have some some randomness to it, right? But also, I do want... I don't want to be stuck with a Pokemon I dislike. So, I'm going to be going for some... So, I narrowed down the ones that I don't want, I guess. And we're going to just try not to get those ones, okay? So, we're going to... Yeah. We're gonna try not to get this one. Let me just remake these notes because I made a list of what I don't, what I do want, but I didn't make a list of what I absolutely don't want. So I just need to make sure that they balance out. And I'm gonna try not to, no matter like, no matter how much I love Cyndaquil, I'm gonna try not to get Cyndaquil because that's what we. I'm pretty sure. But that's what we were in Red Rescue Team. So I'm going to try not to get a, a Cyndaquil in this one. I believe we were Cyndaquil. Or no, our partner was Cyndaquil. And we were a Bulbasaur. Yeah, so we're going to try not to be a, a Bulbasaur or a Cyndaquil. That's what we're going to try not to be. Alright. So did you play Explorers of Time? Or Explorers of Darkness. I did play Explorers of Darkness. I know that. Alright, you run into a, per a new person that you haven't talked to very much before. What do you do? Hmm. Now, I would... Mm, usually, I would just, like, say nothing. Like, if I'm just passing by them on the street, I'll probably just, like, act like I didn't see them. That's what I'd usually do. But then sometimes if, like, we make eye contact, I kind of have to. Which sucks. Um, so then I would just, like, make small talk and then, like, try to get away somehow. But let's see, which one leads to... Which one leads to... Leads away from what we don't want, I mean. And I cannot find the quest. There we go. So we don't want this one. That one's cool, and we don't want that one. So we're going to say nothing, because the bottom one goes to Cyndaquil. Or helps out with Cyndaquil. And then the other one help, does something for one we don't want. Anyway, so... Do you think it's important to be fashionably late? No, I don't think it's important to be fashionably, fa fashionably late. But let's see if this guide wants us to be fashionably late or not. Um... Doesn't look like there's a... Doesn't... Yeah, this is fine. We can just go with our answer. It doesn't affect any of our... The choices we don't want. And the emulator is lagging a little bit. Let's hope it... Well, it sorted itself out now. Let's hope it just doesn't do it too much. Do you think it's important to always aim to be the best? I do. Uh, this is a two-answer que two question. Like, the, the questions are sorted out by how many answers they 
or how many possible answers they have. Um, so we're gonna go, uh, of course, because going no is helping out with one of them that we don't want. Uh, I will tell you guys the ones that I didn't want to get after I go through the- well, the ones I don't want to get are Chikorita, Tin Cyndaquil, Bulbasaur- Cyndaquil and Bulbasaur because we used it in the last Let's Play. And then, I don't want Chikorita because it gets bad moves leveling up. And then the other one I don't want is Fanfi- Fampy. Just because, I don't know, I got nothing against Fampy- Fampy? How- however you pronounce it, but- I don't know. I, I just don't want it to be our Pokemon. You see a cake that is past its expiration date, but only one day. Hmm. I would think about it briefly, or I would get someone else to try it first, I think. I think I'd get somebody else to try it. Let's see what this, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna get somebody else to try it first. <laughs> Your friend seems to be making plans to hang out. Just out of ear or er, your friends seem to be making plans to hang out just out of earshot. You think I want to go too? No big deal. Will they? I sometimes I, I I think I'd say that I think will they invite me? Just like even if it's not even if it's something that I don't want to go to, it's always nice to be offered. You know, so I I would be wondering like would they ask me if I want to come? It's... yeah. Now I cannot find it. Sometimes these questions are hard to find, man. And it's a really small font, too. Eh. Your friend, your friend. Your friends, I mean. Okay, let's just control F. Let's control F this. Uh, friends. There we go. Oh, but that one leads to Cyndaquil, so I don't want to do it. And no big deal leads to, to Bulbasaur. So we'll go with I want to go, I guess. Yeah. You've been asked to do a difficult task. What will you do? I'm just going to control F all of them. Uh, let's go back to- there we go. Um, what will you do? Do it myself. Ask someone to help. Make someone else do it. Typically, I like to do it myself. Like, I'll try it myself at the bare minimum. And then if I can't do it, I'll ask for help. Uh, it seems like none of these lead to the ones we don't want. So, I can just- yeah, do it myself. You just stuffed yourself with a good meal. When a great dessert- you just stuffed yourself with a good meal when a great dessert arrives. What do you do? Oh, damn, that's hard. That is very hard. Because, like, I absolutely love dessert. <laughs> yeah, I think I'd go with I love dessert the most. <laughs> I think that's what I'd go with. Yeah. Doesn't seem to lead to anything that we don't want anyway. Your friend is running late to meet you. Is that okay? Yeah, I usually don't mind if my friends are running late as long as they like message me first. Like if they message me, that's cool. Um, if they don't, then yeah, it's kind of a dick move, but I, I wouldn't be that mad about it. Are you male or female? We are a male and looks like we are all done so I can get rid of yeah, I can get rid of that for now. Uh, your aura is the energy that you radiate. Oh, so I have to like, hold down on the bottom screen. Relax, calm yourself, and now press your fingertip gently on the bow. That's right, stay perfectly still. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Alright. Your aura has now been identified. Lift your finger from the touch screen. Your aura is... Let's see what we got! It's a blue. It's a clear aqua blue. Does that mean we're a water type? Thank you for an- oh, back to the- the Gardevoir. Thank you for answering all those questions. You seem to be the bold type. I don't remember which one that is. It is on the list of what I want. 
but I don't remember what it is. I just wrote down the natures that I want. I didn't write down what Pokemon they were, so I don't remember what this is. You're so brave, and you never back down from anything. You're also gutsy and brash in a way that others aren't. You're not shy about asking to take home all the leftovers at restaurants, right? If someone's treating you to dinner, you have no problem with ordering lots of good food, good stuff. And you aren't, and you aren't faced by doing things that others would think twice about. Perhaps you don't even notice when others are upset with you. You know, you have the potential to be a truly great person because you'll be the last one standing. So a bold type like you will be a Turtwig. All right, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I actually really like Turtwig. You know, when I first, when first gen, uh, fourth gen first came out, I loved Chimchar. I thought Chimchar was the coolest thing ever, and that was the first starter I picked. But now that I'm like, a few years later, you know, I'm gonna just throw it 10 years. I'm not sure if it was 10 years or not, but 10 years later, I'm like, yo, I like Turtwig. Turtwig, Turtwig is definitely my favorite fourth gen starter right, right now. And finally, who will be your partner? Choose the Pokemon you want for a partner. All right, so we're a grass type, which evolves to grass ground. Now we're not gonna go Cyndaquil or Bulbasaur. I kinda wanna go Totodile. Totodile was actually the one that I was leaning towards the most between what I wanted to get. So I think we're gonna go with Totodile. Yeah, we're gonna go Totodile. Actually, it took a lot longer with that quiz than I'd wanted to. Um, what are we gonna name this Totodile? Because we gotta nickname them, we gotta nickname them, we gotta nickname all of our Pokemon just because, like, there's more than one Totodile in this world, you know? So, they gotta have their own names. Um. Fuck, what's his name? Alright, it was a male Totodile. Nope. One eye. I really hope that's how it's spelled. You know what? I want to double check this and I don't know where my phone is. Let's see. Because as far as I know, Captain Hook from Once Upon a Time, or Captain Hook from the, uh... Oh, I did spell it wrong. Okay. Captain Hook from the Peter Pan books doesn't have a first name in those books, but he has a first name in Once Upon a Time, and it's Killian. His name is Killian Jones, aka Hook, because he has a hook. So we're gonna name Totodile Killian. Okay, that's it. You're all ready to go. You're off to the world of Pokemon. Be strong, stay smart, and be victorious. All right. But yeah, we did take a lot longer with that than we want than I wanted to. My bad. Oh, but that cliffside right there. Ah. Oh my shit. What's that? That actually scared me. Whoa. What? Whoa. Whoa. Our, our. Oh, this is this is Killian. Okay. Are you all right? No. Don't let. Go. Don't let go. Just a little longer. Come on. Hang on. I actually have no clue whose voices these are right now. No. No. I can't. I can't hold on. Ah. <laughs> oh, but look at these waves and oh my god, this is oh, memories right here, man. I actually remember whose voices those were, those those two were talking right now, but I don't remember like I don't know which person was which, so doesn't even matter. I wouldn't have been able to dif differentiate between who was talking, so. Hmm. Ugh. I'm pretty sure this is us now, and we've already been turned to a Pokemon at this point. Where? Where am I? Yep. There we are. I can't... <sighs> Drifting off. I need to go into my acting mode with this LP, guys. That's what I need to do. I need to put on my acting shoes. Hmm. It's Killian, he's a Todal, so gotta kinda make him talk like a Todal. No. I refuse to be paralyzed by this any longer. No more wimping out. I have to be brave today. Um, I remember who this is. It was, I think it's a Diglett. Pokemon detected. Pokemon detected. Whose footprint? Whose footprint? 
The footprint is totally rouse. The footprint is totally rouse. Wah! That shocked me. Phew! I can't, I can't push myself to go in after all. I said to myself that this is the day, but... Hmm. I thought that holding on to my precious treasure, my personal treasure, would inspire me. Oh, but little did he know that that one little rock was so important. But I just can't do it. I'm such a coward. This is so discouraging. And who was it? I think it was like an Ekans and a coughing. Oh no, coughing and a Zubat. Okay. Hey Zubat, did you get a load of that? What would a Zubat sound like? Shit! Oh, you bet I did, coughing. That little wimp that was pacing around had something good, right? That wimp had something, that's that's for sure. It looked like something, some kind of treasure. Do we go after it? We do. Oh man, this is going to be very difficult because it's switching between voice after voice after voice after voice, especially when there's like big groups of Pokemon. Oh my god, this is... What did I get myself into with this? Oh yeah, this episode is definitely going to be a little longer than I would have hoped for it to be because I took a bit long with the choosing our our answers to the questions. Wow, what an impressive sight. I made Zubat and Totodile's voices too similar. I need to kind of like drift them apart a little. But look at this, man. Like, I know you guys can't see it the way I'm seeing it because on the layout, the bottom screen and the top screen are, like, separated. Like, the, uh, no, I mean, they're side by side. But, like, on my screen, just looking at this with them, like, the top screen above the bottom, like, the way it's supposed to be, how, like, all of it just fits in one picture. It's just fucking perfect. Hmm. When the weather's good, the Krabby come out at sundown to blow bubbles. All those bubbles catching... The setting sun's rays off the waves. It's always impressive. Ah, ah, I need to take a drink. This is so good, man. I'm literally smiling this, smiling this whole fucking time. This is where I always end up when I feel sorry for myself. But it makes me feel good to be here, like always. Come here, cheers me up. Hey, what's that? What's going on over there? Oh, he sees us. What? Someone has collapsed on the sand. What happened? Are you okay? <clears throat> Ugh. Great, you're awake. Where, where am I? You weren't moving. You really had me worried there. How did you wind up unconscious out here? I, I was unconscious? What happened? Anyway, I'm Killian. Glad to meet you. So who might you be? I don't think I've seen your face around here. Huh? You said you're human. You look like a normal turtle to me. Uh, it's it's true. I've turned into a turtle But how did this happen? I don't remember anything. You're a little odd. Are you pulling some kind of trick on me? You're telling me the truth. Hmm. Okay, then. What's your name? What do you call yourself? My name? That's right. My name is... We're not going to name it Crystal. Nope. Because this isn't a Flaffy or a Mareep. And we, we went, when we had Bulbasaur in Red Rescue Team, we named it Belladonna, just as we always do. And I'm going to name this thing what I like to name my Turtwig, which is Atlas. It's weird, I'm actually naming this thing after my cat. <laughs> but this is definitely not a cat. <laughs> um, is the name Atlas okay? Yes, it is okay. Oh, Atlas, is that your name? Oh, no, Atlas is your name. Okay, well, you don't seem to be a bad Pokemon at least. Sorry that I doubted you. More and more bad Pokemon have been turning up lately, you see? A lot of Pokemon have started being aggressive lately. Things have gotten wild for some reason. And as he says it, it happens. Ow! 
Well, I do beg your pardon. Hey, why'd you do that? <laughs> Can't you figure it out? We wanted to mess with you. Can't face us, face up with us, can you? Wh what? That's yours, isn't it? Hey, that's... Sorry, kiddo, we'll take that. Ah! Whoa! Not gonna make a move to get a, to get that back? What's the matter? Too scared? I didn't expect that you'd be such a big coward. Come on, let's get out of here. That's kind of that voice. Kind of sounds like a slow, like it'd be a slowpoke, not a coughing. I guess coughing and slowpoke would have similar voices if they spoke like humans. You know, think about it. Coughing and slowpoke. They both seem like they'd sound like that. Maybe Bidoof too. I don't know. No, actually, I think a Bidoof would have a bit more higher pitched of a voice than that. But yeah. See you around, chicken. <laughs> Those guys, man, coming in, stealing, stealing, stealing Killian's treasure like that. Oh, what should I do? That's my personal treasure. It means everything to me. If I lose that? No, there's no time to waste. I have to get it back. Hey, will you help me? Yeah, of course I will. R really? You really help? Thank you. Let's go quick, quickly. All right, Beach Cave, our first dungeon. Head for the stairway. Okay, I, I know how to play Mystery Dungeon, so we can we can do this. How do I open the menu? Okay, start is the menu. We have Tackle and Withdraw. We will set Tackle. And we will switch off Leer for now. We have no items. Our team consists of us. Let's see our summary. We're level 5, we need 105 experience to level up. 13s in offenses, 11s in defenses. No statuses, we got Overgrow. A uh, tiny, tiny Leaf Pokemon. Um, IQ, now I need to remember what IQ does in this game. I, yo, why is, why is Killian have such better stats than us? He has higher HP and higher offensive stats, and then equal defenses. The fuck is this? And he has torrent. All right, and yeah, we should be good with that. We can, I believe. Yeah. Okay. So that is my L button right there. I am playing on my keyboard, so I wasn't sure which button I set to L, but I remember now, so we're good. We got some some money, which is always nice. And we found the stairs already, but we're gonna do some exploring. We're gonna definitely do some exploring. There's only like three floors in this place, I think, so we're gonna go through them all. Or go through them completely, I mean. Alright, so that's R, and we use R to like aim. Or direct where we wanna, like who, direct ourselves to who we wanna attack. And then we can use A for the just standard attack so we don't have to waste any PP. Which is always nice. And we came back over here for nothing. Yay, that's all. That's also always nice. Oh, but these games, man, they're so fucking good. Um, I think I can do this to skip my turn. Nope. Um, I think that. Yeah, okay. So you hold B and then press A to skip your turn. And I can just do this, and we will take a step up here. To I did not mean to take that second step. Which one's the one to, like, nope, not that. Okay, this is the button to, like, direct yourself at a specific Pokemon. This is my X button. This is my Y button. I think that's what they were. Oh my god, every time... Every time I try to go to these stairs, another Pokemon enters this room. Which isn't bad. We get some nice experience. You can carry one item. The items you find on the floor have a variety of useful effects. If you find an item, open the menu with X, then use the item option to blah 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 so we got an orange berry so that's good we, let's try to conserve that for when we get to battle against that coughing and oh i think we leveled up why can oh did i click out of the game yeah i think i did click out of the game all right because for some reason it wasn't letting me move right there oh shellos yeah. there now we leveled up level six 
Got our HP. I think all of our stats are going to go up. Yeah, all of our stats went up by a decent amount. Killian leveled up as well. Learned Water Gun. Yeah, level up! You get, why? Okay, his defense has got a bit, a bit less than ours did. But why has he got to be getting, getting like, more stats than us? So he has 104 till his next level, and so do we. Because I know there's, like, we were, we like, when we were playing Red Rescue Team, it got to a point where Festus was gaining levels faster than we were. And so I guess, like, the teammate, I guess, I guess like, your partner Pokemon is set to require less experience to level up, I guess. In some areas, you'll see a ground tile with a green arrow. It's called a wonder tile. Step on it to heal any stat changes. No, Killian, pick up the seed. No, okay, I think I need to go... No, not other. Ground. I know there's nothing at my feet. Okay. But... Oh, I can't give it to somebody? Oh, so we can only have the Orenberry or the Sleep Seed. Uh, I feel like the Orenberry is more important. HP is definitely more important than... Wait, this is the Y button here. Then what's this button? They both do the same thing. Oh, I guess that's Start and Select over there, then. I guess Select and Y do the same thing. I am going to explore the rest of this floor, though, just in case we find some... What's it called? The money. That's what I'm hoping for. Alright. Yes. Toted out. Take them out. Take them out with that water gun. That scratch. Do what you gotta do, my boy. My boy. My boy Killian. We leveled up again. We're level 7. Nice. Gaining 2s and all these stats. Killian leveled up as well. Just in time. Leveled up. Oh man, this, this game, oh. the Mystery Dungeon games are the absolute best. Now, there will be times throughout this Let's Play where we're just going to be, like, going through a dungeon, so there'll be a lot of time for us to just talk, so, so yeah, just get used to the sound of my voice, or just me talking about random nonsense, rather than dialogue and what's going on in the game because sometimes it'll literally just be this just be us walking around trying to find the stairs what seed is this it's another sleep seed okay i don't care to put i don't care about putting the coughing and zubat to sleep because we're just gonna body them because we're level seven and they're probably level fives man you know, what level does Turtwig learn its next move? Because Turtwig learned to move at level 6, and we still haven't learned anything. Uh, hey! I actually hurt my voice when I said we're level... When I yelled, like, we're level 7. I hurt my... Not my voice. I hurt my throat. <sighs> this is not the L... This is not the, the, the LP where I need to be going and hurt my throat like that. Well, well. If it isn't our old friend... The big chicken. Ah. Give me back! Give me back what you stole from me! That's my personal treasure! It means everything to me! This Totodile actually so much so reminds me of Luffy right now. You know, I just started getting into... I just started reading One Piece because ever since One Piece came out, I was like, nah, I don't need it. I don't need to read that. Pirates aren't that... I'm not really into pirates. I'm still not really into... I'm still not into pirates, like... Pirates are cool, but they're not my my thing, you know, so. But since it's so popular and everybody says all this good shit about it, I decided I'm just going to give it a try. So I started reading it. I'm like 100 in the low hundreds. I think I'm, at on, I think I'm on chapter 101, actually. But so far, Killian is reminding me so much of Luffy. Treasure, you say? So that thing really is valuable, huh? It could be worth more than we'd hoped for, I'd say. We ought to try selling it. Who knows? It might get a good price. Ho, 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 ho. All the more reason not to give it back. What? If you want it back that badly, come and get it. 
Yo, just that battle intro, like that battle sequence intro right there. That was fucking awesome. All right, we'll skip the turn. We'll go for the... Okay, we just got a crit and bodied it. Immediately. You get out of here too. What, son? Oh, oh, oh. Ah! We got roughed up. All right, so that's how I'm differentiating Zubat and... And... Tordal and Killian. Zubat is more just high pitched, whereas Tordal is high pitched, but also it's got a bit of roughness to it. I don't know how to explain it really. Bl blast it! How do we get wiped out by wimps like them? Bah! Here you go, take it then! Whoa ho! Don't think you're so awesome. Your victory was a fluke. Yeah! You just remember that! Oh, it's my relic fragment! Am I ever glad I actually managed to get it back? It's because you were really there to help me, Atlas. Thanks, Atlas! You're welcome, bruh. Pew! Finger guns, you know? R really, thank you! Hmm. I only helped because I happened to be there. Is that the right thing to do? I guess so. This Pokemon is clearly grateful. It's nice to be appreciated. It's always nice to be appreciated, guys. Always. So remember, have manners. Please and thank you go a long way. And you're welcome. Here's what they stole. This is a relic fragment. Well, at least that's what I started calling it. But this relic fragment is my precious treasure. You see, I've always liked legends and lore. I always get so excited when I hear tales from the past. Don't you feel the same way? Hidden troves full of treasure and strange relics. Uncharted territories veiled in darkness. And new lands just awaiting to be discovered. Such places must, fill, must be full of gold and treasure. And history. Wouldn't it be amazing to make historic discoveries? I always dreamed about that. It's all exciting to me. So one day, I happened to find something, my relic fragment. Sure, it looks like junk, but take a closer look. See? See that strange pattern inscribed on it? It's true. There is a strange inscription. I've never seen a pattern like this. Well, it's hard. how would you know if you've seen a pattern like this or not? You have amnesia. So you probably have seen it before, bro. Probably have. This pattern must have some meaning to it. I'm sure of it. This relic fragment must be the must be the key to legendary places, to areas where precious treasure lies. At least that's the feeling I get. That's why I want to join an ex exploration team. This fragment must fit into something somewhere. I want to discover where that is. I want to solve the mystery of my relic fragment. So earlier, I tried joining an exploration team as an apprentice, but I chickened out. What about you, Atlas? What are you going to do now? You lost your memory, and you somehow transformed into a Pokemon. Do you have anywhere to go and stay after this? Hmm. If not, can I ask a big favor? Would you join me to make an exploration team? I think you and I would make a good exploration team, Atlas. So how about it? Come on, please? Whoa! <laughs> what should I do? I'm getting recruited out of the blue. I don't know what an exploration team is. What should I do? Should I join this Pokemon and form an exploration team? Fuck yeah! It's true. I do have nowhere to go. I don't have any clue what I should do next. I guess it wouldn't hurt to team up with Killian for now. Maybe I'll eventually discover who or what I am by hanging out with this Pokemon. Okay, that's settled. <laughs> yeah! Really? You form an exploration team with me? Yahoo! Thanks! We're going to make a great combination. Let's make this work. First, let's go to Wiggly Tuff's place and sign up as apprentices. That's where we can train to become a proper exploration team. I think the training will be really tough. But let's give it our best, Atlas. Yeah! Fuck yeah, guys! We can do this! Alright. Okay, wait, wait. One second. And so, Killian and Atlas formed an exploration team. This turned out to be 
their very first step into many fantastic realms of adventure that await awaited their arrival. Now I know I'm pr I'm pretty sure now that it's not actually Gardevoir that's doing that, so. Whatever, we're just gonna roll with it. I guess the narrator from now on is Guard of War. Oh, God. All right, guys, we're gonna end the episode off here. Um, God, I think I'm gonna record the next one right after because I'm actually very, very excited. Anyways, guys, make sure you like the like button down below for me if you enjoyed. And I don't know if we're gonna have a question of the day for this series. I didn't make room on the layout for it. Um, oh, oh, before I forget. I did not make this layout. Um, I did add a bit to it, like I added the team slot part of it, but besides that, this was made by a YouTuber called The French Mudkip. Um, I will leave a link to his channel in the description, hopefully if I remember to. If I don't, somebody remind me, please. Um, he made this layout not specifically for me, he made it for free to use, so maybe other people have used it as well. Um, but I did add a little bit to it, so I guess it's a little bit different. But, um, also go check him out, I guess. Yeah, definitely. Um, and then subscribe, guys, if you want to stay updated for the next video. Have yourselves a good day, and I'll see you guys all next time.